and welcome to Strat Chat. Do this. Technically, we do this every Friday, 3.30. I think I'm going to move it because um, classes are starting up soon. And so I'm probably going to move it to later on Friday. If. I don't know. Might be Saturday. Never know. Um, some things kind of cover is today we're going to be actually doing VOD reviews of Hammond players during the Contenders matches. And I haven't been able to watch watch the... Um, the Korean ones, and I wasn't able to watch um, the one with XL2 in them, so I'm going to have to look through those again. But um, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and skip through to where we have Hammond and basically talk like conveniently. Hammond's right here. And I kind of wanted to do this because the Hammond... Poor Beast Halo. I, uh, you could tell that the coaches knew what they wanted out of him but he wasn't actually doing that and that was the issue um that i saw a lot of the times but yeah so we're going to be going through that stuff if you're on twitch i do live stream this um and you can well if you're on twitch i do post the vods up on the youtube which is basically my same name and then vice versa and all that kind of stuff and then for all information across the board, I post it on Twitter. And so you should be able to see them somewhere around my channel on information on how to get that. All that stuff is super nice. Um, yeah, let's let's go ahead and move into it. If any of you have any questions, please speak up and I will answer them. It would be pretty, pretty simple. Um, not too big of a deal if you speak up i'll answer any questions but yeah we're going to be covering hammond just talk mainly about that i have this muted just because um one of the common things that the casters were saying was that the time it takes for hammond to actually get moving is longer because you have to grapple you have to swing and all that stuff it's not exactly true mainly just because the hammond spend the it basically the more time you have played on Hammond, the faster you can grapple and then get out. Because a lot of the, there's a there's a style of flick grappling. So we'll watch. Say like he kind of teeters. Let's see if we can see it. Like okay, so so let's yeah let's watch this. First of all, he could have made the jump straight over, but you know whatever. Like that little. Let's see. Okay. So he could roll up on here and then hop up and over. That is the thing you can do. It's pretty simple. Um, but it's just... You can just tell that Beast Halo just doesn't have a lot of time into him. Either that or... He hasn't been coached through it. Something was up. That's the thing. I'm not sure Fusion University has a coach. But like you can see it like right here. He has time to set up a grapple, and let's watch the time. We're at 39 seconds. Let's see how long it takes for him to actually grapple. Okay. Took him four seconds. Technically, that could be faster. Pretty fast for actually what he he ends up doing a lot. But yeah, you can see. And he do doesn't grapple that high up. And this engagement's just suicide. And the reason is because, because watch, at the moment for him, it's pretty much a blind dive. He's just diving onto the tanks, and that's usually not the best thing. It's okay for ult charge, but usually not the best thing. And also, as well as he has no air control. So you can see, like, he's right here. He automatically hits control. But if you look at all of the threats he has, no one can really one-shot him. The Sombra can hack him, but you can't really see the somber much anywhere and i think the somber is actually asleep yeah i think that was the person that was asleep and then he ends up just popping his barrier and then rolling through and right now everything's like they just go straight back into alarm and one of hammond's best utilities is to actually swing back and basically counter dive He's really good at it, and to the point of he can pretty much counter dive anything, um, because 
if you see where threats are going to come, you just flick, grapple, launch yourself, and it's super quick. The more... And some of you might not completely understand this whole quick grapple, but uh, trust me, you'll see it happen a lot more often in the future. It's just not that big now, because not a lot of people are used to it. The grapple overall takes a lot of aim. So yeah, like this whole thing, this whole thing doesn't need to happen. You have grapple up. Likewise, he's not using grapple that much, which is kind of awkward. You don't really want that. You want to be using grapple a lot and causing a lot of disruption, but right now, Hammond's, and especially with this comp, let's talk about the comp real quick. And then we'll also talk about this comp because it's actually kind of interesting. This comp is the, I'll just talk about it first. This comp is the assassin comp that I talked about a couple months ago. Um, and it's now a thing because it's easier to play Sombra. Don't get me wrong, they're, her buffs did a couple things that made hack more consistent which was needed and then it also made it so that she could do more scouting she was better at scouting which is great all of her other utility that you've been seeing she's had for the longest time you just needed to actually play her with skill it's kind of sad um but yeah so up here we have the Anna and Lucio and the idea is that the Anna is going to be mass healing the Hammond because Hammond with his low head hitbox is basically the best tank to get healed. Because he has more survivability for his health. Which is really great. And then we have the Lucio for speed boost. Speed boost isn't needed for a Hammond. It's nice if you want to do across the map launches. Which you can. But you don't need it. And it's But it's mainly used to, to get your rest of your team in and out. But if you notice, like I think... They completely let Alarm go. Like, this is a, just a team mess up. And, yeah, Alarm's in the back alone. And, yeah, they, yeah, and then Elk ran back to help out, and it just didn't happen. But yeah, like, Beast Halo's running around right now. Not doing anything. I think he just engaged. Did he just engage? Let's see his health. Yeah, he just engaged alone. But yeah, you see he's not landing on his enemies. Like, all he has to do is land on one person and he does 100 damage. The fall off pretty much makes it or breaks it. Like, 30 burst damage isn't that much. And that's what he's doing right now. And he's losing so much value out of it. He just... I think he just grappled. Did he grapple and disconnect? I want to see this. Okay. Let's just watch. See how long it takes for him to grapple. Okay. Once he goes on the ball, okay, he's looking for a grapple. Let's see how long it takes him. 1, 25, 26, and 27, 28, and... So it took him five seconds, and in the end, he ended up not disconnecting immediately, which he didn't need to disconnect. And I don't even think he got hacked. Yeah, he didn't get hacked. I don't think he got hacked. Yeah, so a big thing with that is you don't want to disconnect too quickly. Like you, you have a lot of value you can get out of your, out of the grapple, just because you have fifty damage and knockback that can, cons be consistent forever. You don't have to actually disconnect at all. So having being disconnected more. Yeah and. And I, I notice a lot of times, too, they have slow rollouts. So not going that fast, which is okay, kind of. But I one of the things that um, the casters do point out is that the Toronto is really good at just... Well, I think it was, it was when Envy was playing. Yeah, it was. Um, with last night's leftovers. It was, it was that match. And the casters were basically saying, like, yeah, um, they, the other, it was, Envious is really good at just stepping out of the way of the Hammond. And it's like, that's because he's moving so slow to get there that he's so obvious that he's going to be there. But yeah, like Beast Halo right now, with this comp, he's playing the main tank role. And funny thing is is Hammond can be a main tank and we'll actually talk about this real quick we'll just do a top-down view 
um, of like pretending that actually could I could I do it yeah let's move this there we go okay so let's just say we're looking at a map um, and this is our this is our team and this is the enemy team. So Hammond in a main tank role, because his playstyle changes. So when when you're a main tank as Hammond, what you want to do is you want to engage first. And so how it works is that you swing through, and what you want to do is you want to grapple and then swing while red and barrel through, and you want to pick one of one of the enemy team that you want to hit. And basically, most of the time, it's going to be you want to displace the tanks. So like Reinhardt right here, boom, knock him. And then now, and we go straight through the team. These people get knocked back along with him. And let's, so we have, and then we have four members that Hammond has just singled out over here. He has activated his overshield, so he's not going to die. And now he has split their entire team by himself. This is why I also say Zarya is pretty good with him as well. Um, because if Zarya bubbles, then he can't get stunned trying to do this. And so he gains gains the effects that you would get with like a D.Va defense matrix sometimes and a Winston bubble. But you can remove the stun from Brigitte and all that stuff just by this bubble. But yeah, now you have these two and then the rest of your team jumps in and gets them. So you're making space and you're trying to cut off the teams and you're giving your your team a safe entrance and so that's the main idea with him as a main tank as as an off tank what you want to do is you want to be looking at two things well and you can still do this as a main tank as well but um it's a lower priority um and if you have the opportunity yeah so if they dive you they dive your back line. The best thing to do as Hammond is... Let's change this color again. Best thing to do as Hammond is just quick grapple to a wall. That's it. Eh, no, not that one. Quick grapple to a wall. And then just launch yourself at them. And you don't even have to catch air. You just have to go. If you catch air, that's great. Um, but the be but usually, especially as you're learning, it's better to just stay on the ground for that section. And you swing back and you counter dive them by just plowing through them. Perfect. It's always always gets results because then immediately they turn their attention to you because you're in their face. So that's a good way, and it pretty much acts like a defense matrix in some sort, but it's a little more aggressive. So there's that. Then there's a couple things as well. If you're running a multi-tank dive as well, um, one thing that might happen is your Winston jumps in, boom, boom. Your Diva jumps in, boom, boom. And then you wait a little bit. When they counter dive or they jump the back line, then you act as peel. And so you can actually peel the peeling. <laughs> it's kind of weird. So, like, your tanks dive the squishies, their diva turns around and starts peeling for them, and you plow through the diva. It's pretty nice. You can set that up, and there's a lot of other things you can do as well. Um, but mainly, you want to hit last. And that's your strategy, is because um, you can also launch yourself in the air. We'll launch them in the air with pile driver. Always make sure you're landing directly on them to get the pile driver. It's always lucrative. Um, yeah, EMP. Okay, there's another thing as well. Let's 
Beast Halo just put it through the front door. So I want to see where Beast Halo is. Come on. What? Did he get hacked? I want to see this. Did Beast Halo get hacked? I don't think he got hacked, no. But he did drop down his mines, but he didn't pile drive. I know he didn't pile drive. What you want to do is you always want... Yeah, 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 he wasn't hacked. What you want to do is you want to ult and then pile drive. That's always the best thing to do because your ult takes time to have the mines set up. And so as they're trying to get away, if you pile drive, boom, directly in the center of your ult, um, you lift them up, and if you deal 100 damage, when they get hit by the ult, they do deal 230 damage so that you can conserve, um, your mines and all that stuff, and it's pretty nice there. But yeah, okay. And then they switch off of Winston, and they win this one. It was, yeah, it's kind of weird. Do they play Hammond on this one? Yes, they're try trying to play Hammond on this one. And again, if anyone has any questions, I can answer them in the chat. Um, and then if you have any questions on YouTube, of course, I'll answer them in the comments. So yeah, again, with this comp, the main idea is you want to be peeling for the Ana, as well as making space. But the thing is, is your team doesn't have a lot of ability to capitalize, except for having um, the dive as well. Like, see, this is terrible. This is... This is this is suicide because two things happened. One, you didn't move that fast. So you're not actually getting distance. You're jumping the gun a bit. And you just wasted pile drive. That was a waste. I think you did five damage, actually. So that that's a bad thing in general. Now you're in the middle Especially against a Sombra, what you want to do is you want to figure out where the Sombra's at and then engage. So, like, if Sombra's engaged on someone else, it's better to engage while she's focused on something. But, yeah, like, right now, the Hammond's just feeding. It's not not anything helpful. What he should be doing is he should be scouting out a little bit more and basically find out where the Sombra is. Especially against a Sombra, you want to be doing a lot more counter dive. Because if she's hacking you while you're around the supports, it's a lot better. But doing dives while the Sombra's around, stuff like that, especially when it, you're not together, um, it's just just bad overall. You can't really do that much, especially against their entire team. And, and it's sometimes okay if you're doing a pile drive on all of them and then going to get out immediately. It's better that way. But, yeah. And then, of course, he gets a double kill. I don't know what he did. Because um, we couldn't see him. Who are you? Pulled out his blade and everyone just won there. Let's see. Where, where's Hammond setting up? Yeah, Beast Halo has his ult. So that's nice. So I wonder why he's setting up back here. I actually want to see if he grapples the ceiling. You kind of, you tend to want to be on the high ground because you can jump down and then grapple and swing to something. But I don't know if Beast Halo has the, yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty much. Oh, no. <laughs> Another thing. This is, oh, boy. So Axiom messed up as well because he didn't know that if he had his shield up, that no matter what, the shield was going to take the damage, even if he's backing into the mines. So his body is like exposed to the mines, they actually damage the shield. And so he runs away instead of just destroying it with a shield, which he could have. Then, of course. Yeah, so like that swing was so slow, it was sad. It was a nice dodge. 
Yeah, and base Halo is hacked again. Feels bad, man. So yeah, that that swing was like a quick swing. The problem was is that it wasn't really thought through because there was so much stuff in front of him that it just slowed down his momentum and he ended up like flopping in. That's another thing as well with the Sombra meta coming up is that, yeah, he didn't land on them. He landed around them and then knocked them all up in the air. Hitting multiple targets as opposed to just one isn't lucrative. You want to you wanna make sure you hit the one because you do higher damage if you land directly on someone and if you, as opposed to relying on fall off damage. If you if you're looking at getting fall off damage with the Hammond pile drive, it's usually not that good unless they're very low health and you're finishing someone off. But yeah, like that kind of peeling is stuff Hammond should be doing. Yeah, and I don't know where he's where he's at. Yeah, he's just shooting people. Who are you? He's just carrying. Yeah, so like right at the at this moment there. They're not really getting anything out of the Hammond, and that's that's a big deal. Yeah, he just got a kill with his ult, but it's just left-clicking. Yeah. And it's easy to get kills with his left-click. It's not that hard at all. Yeah, where is he setting up? So is he rotating around high ground? Yeah. Okay, so that's a, that's a better place. Oh, and he engaged on someone. Yeah, and he's dead. Where is he? He's not dead. Ah, congratulations. Oof. Yeah. So, like, the number one thing that, that the Fusion are missing with this Hammond is that they're not... They're not playing him as a main tank. They're still playing him as an off tank. Are they? Yeah, they're still still playing him on this. Poor guy. I think after this map, we're going to switch over to um, another team's. Where's where, Beast Halo's on the low ground? Why? His entire team was on the high ground. Yep, that's... Blind man from New Jersey saw that one coming. Yeah, it's just bad. Some people are also forgetting that Hammond has range. That's... It, you'd be surprised how many people will actually not think about that and they're like well he does have fall off damage and it's pretty severe no it's not it's actually not um it's i believe it's about the same as soldiers at the at the moment maybe a little worse but not that bad so it's not bad at all you can still kill a pharah in one burst it yeah you don't you're not gonna have a problem there if you're having a problem getting damage then you're not hitting your shots especially since it's a burst damage gun Ugh. and yes they did fix the bug with burst damage um w with the with the um crosshair bloom um because it used to actually bloom out like very fast and now it's more right, well how it used used to be was it was looking to try to be soldier's gun but what would happen is you couldn't feather it. So it was like the, the shoot and unshoot, shoot and unshoot to kind of control all of that stuff. You couldn't do that. You couldn't control your um, your shot your shots that well because it would it would bloom out again very, very fast. You couldn't feather it that much. And so it was it was pretty bad. But um on the other side of it is now they fixed it and it's more like soldiers. Are they playing Hammond? Do notice that they end up. Okay, let's. 
Let's switch over to... Um... Last night's leftovers actually had a not too bad Hammond. But I wanna, wanna see real quick. Ooh, commercials. Scary. Yeah, okay, so they play him on Li Zhang, which is pretty nice. Oh yeah, no, he wasn't that good now, I remember. Okay. So next, we're watching next. Yeah, so they just go straight to the point. That's not that bad. Okay, so. Did they do it? No. Okay. So they, their sugar freeze bubble was late. And what they were trying to do was they're trying to do the Hammond plow through like I was talking about and then bubbling him but they bubbled him late which is sad um, and now they're probably just going to lose yeah that was that was a bummer especially since he didn't get anything done with um, yeah now he's just rolling around in the back rip Yeah, this is pretty much the, <laughs> this is what the the whole thing looked like. Just, just, just a complete massacre. Let's watch him. Okay, so yeah, that's a quick flick, but you notice how slow it took him, and then he landed on nobody, so he did 30 damage. There's a big difference between 100 damage and, like, 30 or 5. It's, there's a huge difference around that. And you see it's like, oh, yeah, they just walked away. Used the mines, and it didn't even matter. They just walked away. And it was, really, it was like, oh, yeah, because he was so slow getting there that it was just an absolute mess. Does he do it again? Well, I'll see, where is he at the moment? Hey, he's just going to shoot at him. Why not? Did, do, do we need a pile drive? No. Should have pile drived. Super easy. And then he gets blown up by a bomb. Where's the bomb? Oh, and the bomb just landed like right there. That's not that entertaining. And I don't think they... Do they play him? Yeah, they play him on this one. Um, what's really good to do is actually just launch yourself straight up to the high ground. Um, as you come around the corner and... Mm. Yeah, just get singled out. I, where's the Hammond? I don't know. Where's the Hammond? Huh, where's the Hammond? <laughs> huh, where's the Hammond? Can I, oh, there he is. He was he was standing behind the Reinhardt shield and shooting. And now he's spinning around the point, which is really bad against a Mei because all he has to do is run against a wall or get frozen and he's screwed. Like, see, that was the thing that Nex had a lot of problems with was actually just swinging. He spent a lot of his time just... It was a lob swing, which is just so, like, eh. Oh, yeah. And Hammond hates getting froze, by the way. It is, for some reason, and it's a bug at the moment, Hammond actually freezes faster. And he freezes that fast. And so, basically, what that means is if you are frozen once and the mace still left clicking you, you will stay frozen. There'll be like a flicker and then you'll stay frozen. Fast forward. Ooh. They have decode on the Hammond. 
Oh yeah, and this comp, by the way, runs with a Doomfist that's a burst damage dive. Um, which I'm kind of lesser and lesser liking it, to be honest. It, it doesn't feel that good, especially since if Hammond knocks people into the air, then the Doomfist has to do stuff. But hey, it's a CC comp. CC dive, pretty nice. So let's see. There's a lot of fun routes on King's Row that he could take. See, he's already grappled. You can see this little bulge. He's already grappled. Oh, he landed directly on them. That's nice. That was that was perfect. Granted, Sugar Free got deleted. That's that's one of the problems with this dive is that it's very hard to protect your team when doing so. Yeah, Hammond's on the front line. I honestly think Hammond's better at peeling than Diva. I think, yeah. He just crashes out. Really predictable trajectory, yeah. and they're able to burst minefield. And we'll see. Do, 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 do. It's, it is that simple right now. Let's see. Like, Let's play that it's game. Where's that, that Hammond? And he takes so long to get there. It's not even worth it. Oh, and he just grappled a low spot and just rolled in. It's kind of a bummer. And the other thing as well is they're not using grapple for scouting, which would be nice. Granted, I think having the Sombra works out. Where's Hammond? And he lands on no one! Yes, he still dealt damage. Don't get me wrong, he dealt damage, but he didn't land on anyone, so he didn't do that good a damage. Yeah, that wasn't that bad. He landed. That was good. That was good. Nice job. That was a good play, because... You're getting value out of your grapples by dealing damage. And the more you can control your movement on grapple, the better overall. Because you can you can deal more damage, charge your ult faster, and it, it's a 50 damage upon hit every single time. It's, it's like a big Reinhardt hammer, almost, but a little lesser, you know, whatever. Oh, yeah, switched off of, yeah, 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 okay, switched off the Doomfist for a far, I thought they were, I thought Envy was playing Sombra for a moment, I was like, are they really playing a, playing that Okay, let's see how high he grapples, because what you want to do usually is you want to grapple something high. Oh, he got caught out. They're just going straight around and diving the Hammond. Granted, he's not dying fast. In fact, he's not dying at all. I I prefer with a um a Hammond defense on on um King's Row, basically using him in place of a Diva, um with the Arissa defense, and basically he just stalls the point forever. It's it's beautiful. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ah. Yeah. I think we've seen enough of this guy. Do 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 do. Which ones do we want? Do we want? Let's see if this one. This one plays on playing. Thanks so much, Shield Korea. As the higher seed will be playing do, 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 do. on the green or the home side, Black East will pour a lot of luck. Uh -huh. Aha. Middle of the team as they come out the gate, plus the rocket. Where are they using him in here? Is there? Yeah. 
does get jumped up upon. CKM goes one for one. But as the fight breaks out of Ernest, it's still in his KR having to pressure towards the point. Catching Kura, though, big open. So, yeah, he's and using grapple a lot more. Trill is. Inward, and there is also that that's good. Yep, that's good. Going past him. Granted, you're on Cliff. Nice job. Trill coming in around the side. Trying to keep <laughs> he's not doing much, though. MSKR have got too much control of the ground. It seemed like Blank Esports just put a little bit too much in Yeah, and he kind of blew his bolt away. Put in the transcendence, put in the minefield, and either of them will bear fruit this time. Yeah, Trill's, Trill's using, using grapple a lot more. I'm not, I don't think he's actually gaining height that much. Height is usually better. Okay, you just engaged on them. Yep. Grab right on top of Dragon Breath, who would also be mech at the time, and with <laughs> Monster fight, Shield just it's already looking bad for tossed Blake. away old. Oh, and they res Trill. That's nice. They didn't good. don't they res Trill. The point he can get back to the point so quick that you want to res someone else so that Trill can get on later. Yeah. Okay. So so they lost. And the speed of it yeah, man, boom! Lance on them. That's perfect. Good for you. And then gets destroyed because he didn't use his shield. Cheeky. But the point is going to get really progressed now from MSKR. His members are still kind of stuck. Dragon Breath, despite living, or probably going to lose his mech if he's not lucky. Oh dear. That's just more delay for Blank. Let's see if we can get another another map with a Hammond on him. Let's see if they run Hammond on King's Row. Aha! Oh ho! Nope. Still not ready, to Hammond. Ah. Seriously, Hammond just replaced with Diva. Just, just remove Diva, put in Hammond, because you're not looking for Diva to defense Matrix. You're looking for her to contest and to get back up and to get high ground stuff. So it's nice. Using him as a main tank again. Surprise, surprise. I think everyone said he was going to be a main tank. Blank are sticking to the wrecking ball as well. Sometimes you can put him as an off tank, then and he goes straight to point. And never mind. What? So Trail just oh, a lot of goes in alone, and, go and um, in. This is looking oh, good for him. Like dive thing that Blank they actually, they actually contested the high ground pretty good. Also you can like place. barrel through also all of them. Um, so if you actually, damage. it's a weird thing. You have to kind of fly around a couple of times and then you can get yourself the right level um to actually go straight through the um tower which is pretty nice and they just didn't do that yeah i think the key thing that was nice yeah you can use that to clear off a lot of space and then they land but again they're not using him much as a main tank at all either there's some good news now which for is kind of sad this defense on the high ground they can assault it directly onto the low ground one thing that's interesting is that monster shield did not exactly go on to right into the middle massive shield up for him the high ground breath, not able to After follow him up speaking kind of, of dragons odd. there goes two flying across yeah and that's no it kills but it splits blank up the divide and conquer start oh they're still engaging blank hold on to pull back from this they're risking just stalling themselves they're getting out nice job Unfortunately, blank falling on both fronts there they couldn't quite <laughs> why is the diva there oh uh, no this is on the back line civic quarterfinals as well minefield out ckm makes it count, yeah okay though. i think we've seen enough of this guy so plays him like an off tank in a main tank spot let's check out two returning teams both hong kong to better their previous results both looking to go further than ever. Ooh, we might get double Hammond on this one. Do we? No, we don't even get a Hammond. B -b -b bummer so great. So simple. Only problem is when it goes down. I was gonna say. <laughs> Selbs are running a Because Team Team read the play ahead of time and prevented him. The final chance. It's got yep, to nope, be didn't play Hammond. All right. Do, 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 do. So he won't have it, which could be a very good uh, defensive ultimate if he had to use it in that regard. Get that damage mitigation for Swan. 
Okay, let's see how Panker does. Panker does. Two, I think he overall was like a, one of the better Hammonds. You get out of the gates. He is already there contesting the bridge. Let's see. I think I remember this. Yeah, because I watched a little bit of it. Yeah, so that's a good engage. Um, uh, no. Difficulties is there's there's a a spherical radius that pile drive works on, and you want to get that damage, and then you want to get the rest of the damage out. And I don't. It's a very small window to actually get that burst damage out, which is difficult. But, hey, it works. Granted, Rascal's just Rascal. Little Rascal. Yeah, and he's not burst damage either. You can just look. We're just using him as a soldier at the moment. We're just going to run straight into them without any shielding. We're going to die. Yeah. I think that's a problem with this comp at the moment is that when the Hammond tries to actually make space, he's going to be taking a lot of damage getting into it. Okay, not as much as a, if a D.Va did that. Bad defense maker. Yeah, so... Let's see if we get Panther to do. He does a some peeling. Because at the moment, with running a Zen, which is down. Didn't land on him. Yep. That was it. Always land. Land on them. You'll be surprised at how good it works. Glad teams aren't running Mercy that much anymore. Because it's getting a little stupid. Okay, that was bad. So, by the way, Shields um, and Transcendence. Well, okay. Yeah, Shields and Transcendence destroys your minds. So, Winston's bubble was up. Boom! He activates his ult, and the bubble takes all of it, and your ult is gone. Quite a bummer. But good cliff kill. And another good cliff kill, too. That's some pretty good stuff. Good accuracy, too, so. I think he... He's closer to the model hand and player. So we have Rob on the other end. We can get him on a different half. We'll look to Swan as he's going to have to make that entry for the team. Let's see. Are they running it? And a pause for Legion continuing to change up their play style this round. Yeah, this is a very dynamic. Hammond on defense, finally. Because of the way that Wrecking Ball does have to play. Let's see how this goes. Of NRG to really get its full effect. Off of uh, things like his, uh, his adaptive shield, um, along with the pile driver, it's gonna be very difficult for them to play this uh, right now. Uh, Rolf and Pooks are who I'm looking at to see if they can stay. Granted, the did there was the team that ran, Rolf, but it was with the right now, Doomfist are, uh, and Hammond it is be this as time well. So. The yeah, okay. Boy, We've seen this defense before. Line, Let's see if. Seek out if there is a somber in play. I am a little bit curious as to the logic on this because Tracer is like the patience from best friend from Panker. Hack the Zen, get baited. It's always funny. It's like hack the Zen. Yay, the Zen can, can still shoot. Oh, and. And pile drive on them, but you got close. See, that's there we, there we go. That's a flick shot. That's a flick hook. Okay. That. That's a flick hook. If you ever wanted to, if you wanted to know what it looks like, that's what it looks like. 
That's exactly what it looks like. And you'll be seeing that more. So the whole thing of it takes him so long to actually dive and stuff like that. No, it doesn't. It's just if you're looking for your grapple, that's when it takes forever. It doesn't need to take that long. <laughs> that was a Hammond grapple that he got knocked around by. I believe a Lucio boot. Which is pretty good. See? Okay. Panker is pretty good. Or Panker or whatever. Panker, Panker, Panker. Parka, whatever. Nice. I don't think he lands on a bunch of people. But, you know, whatever. I think we've been talking too much about make sure you're landing. And don't worry about landing on everyone at once. Just make sure you're landing on just one because if anyone takes damage, it's going to be across all of them. Poise was just being stupid. <laughs> kind of like, hmm, mines. I can dash through them. Boom, boom. That's what it sounded like. The boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Ooh, nope. Yep. So yeah, I I think he should have turned around and because yeah, you can you can go up and then you can arc back and go straight back into the Winston as well. So you can kind of fake out a dive and try to get them to counter dive if you start swinging but you don't re release grapple and then you swing back and then you just launch at him from behind that's always fun because it's kind of like a blind jump pretty much where you just kind of rock and you rock backwards and you launch towards him Oops. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought it was the other guy. That would have been awkward. Yeah. I think I think doing a Hammond Doomfist dive, you have to be very careful that you don't pile drive and uppercut or slam at the same time. Well, you could slam. It's just an uppercut. Because those those things, yes, you have a burst damage dive, but it's it's a kind of difficult. Yep. Yeah, the problem was Diva was demon. Let's see if we can see another. Let's see if we can actually look at. An Some gladiators legion. Really take advantage of it, right? Panker was receiving like the. Brunt's majority of all the CC coming his way. So the sleep darts, the hack, everything. He does okay, have to go see. for a full charge rocket Five, punch to try four, and convert three, onto an elimination. Two, Energy, one. Happy New Year! No, no, okay, so what does he grapple to? Does he grapple to the statue? Really good because it is King Throw. Alright, and uh, the Legion for now, not really changing up too Pretty much. Good. The idea that they're still going to be running this Oh no, there he is. Dive directly into your face. Yeah, they're shooting for a Sombra. There we go. And you didn't need a pile drive because no one was there. <laughs> and then we jump off the high ground. Alright. Super passive. Yeah, they. 
Gladiator's Legion are being super passive. Could have gone through the window. But I think he messed up that window jump. Yeah, he was looking at doing a window jump and missed. You actually can pile drive. If you make sure that... So, and I used to have problems with this, is if you go to jump through the window, and let's see if I can... Okay, so yeah, let's look at this. Okay. Darn it. Whoa. Okay, so if you want to go through this window, um, there's a couple of places you can grapple on to. You can grapple on to the tower. You can grapple on to here. You can grapple on to Mondata. Bunch of places, honestly. And just kind of... So if you grapple here, you'd want to make this type motion. Curve it up. If you grapple here, you need to make this type motion, curve it up, all that kind of stuff. Pretty simple. Um, and if you do miss, if you want to launch yourself straight through, you can. You just need to make sure you have practice before you go through that window so that you can be on fire and boom, go straight through the window and knock someone. Um, but if you just want to get into that window, you can aim higher. And then as you come down, just hold forward and just try to grip this ledge and you can go over. And if you miss the ledge, when you're about here, pile drive and you'll lift up just slightly and move forward and you'll go in. You'll want to be right just below the ledge before you pile drive or else you'll hit your head and not be able to get through. See, look for a successful dive from Panther. Yeah, not bad. I believe they just rolled in. Can't really see much though. That's a difficult thing. As teams get and players get more familiar with Hammond, you'll be seeing a lot more peeling that the Hammond does, and you'll also see a lot more. And this is something that I noticed is there's a lot of plays in which when you do them, you're like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Like going straight through a window or jumping across a couple of things and pile driving and launching yourself across and over a bunch of stuff. And you're like, oh, that was so cool. Got a quad kill or whatever. That stuff as you get to high, get like practiced in it, it, it still feels the same and like coolness but you're actually able to do them and go, okay, I'm going to do this. So there's going to be a day where there's going to be like epic jumps through windows that people who haven't played Hammond are just going to be like, dude, that's so cool. And it still is, even if you do play Hammond. Just because... Now they're searching for Wrecking Ball. And he's out of here. Smex gets onto the point. He, he's, the he's just lucky he didn't get hacked. <laughs> or else he would have been a sitting duck. At the moment, though, they're having problems because he's not creating space. He's playing it like an off tank. He wants to be knocking people away and all that stuff, which is causing problems. Granted, I don't think the, te the teams are actually thinking about playing him as an off tank. They're just putting him in the slot. And just using him for the burst damage and not for the zoning. Either that or they're just not comfortable with zoning yet. That was fast. NRG holding on, only giving up two ticks now, and the Legion set just a little bit more poke, and he can get it. Wow, he's super close. That was perfect. That was that was good. Blaze was just all the way back there. Poor guy. Yep. That was, that, yeah, that's what you want to see happen. You want to see that quick flips. And so that's where when the casters were going like, yeah, I, 
I just don't get it. Uh, the you would want to Winston more because it takes longer for the Hammond to die, and you have to get used to that that dive time. It's like not really. It is when you're pretty new at playing him, but it's not once you get there because then you get that kind of stuff where you're swinging pretty fast. And okay, Rascal, just calm down. Four kills, five kills. Yeah, he just did. He just team kill them just by being rascal. That sounds about right. Um, let's see if we can. Of best in show. The judges Let's see. See if he plays more of it on different maps. Volskai. Volskai actually has some interesting This is symmetric being played. Where Fusion University were able to turn it around up against that. But now that was cheeky. Wait, 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 wait. What is this from NRG? Where I was about to say, okay, it's not really a strategy, but yeah, kind of entertaining. What is essentially in many respects Spex? No, Spex is going to the There we go. Is that gonna be a Hammond? Not quite, but Panker. So where's Panker set up? Legion are not changing course. Yeah, we've got the Doom Fist. There's many different ways that he can set up. That's cute. Set up. So these two went around the side. But both of them are just able to land to the meats of the energy squad, but this is a very more energy squad as it's full dive, so much mobility coming up. That's where he's set up. Just bounce around in the corner. Oop. Yep. You know, I'm seeing a lot more of Sombra Doomfist being a thing. Kind of interesting. Not sure where Panker is because we're not watching him. Granted, he got a kill, so good for him. I'm just imagining that. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. He landed on the mercy. That's perfect. So they're they're getting it to work out. It's just they need to have the Hammond hit first and then the Doomfist because the Doomfist is a little more surgical um, at the moment, at least. Because the Doomfist uppercuts before he pile drives and you don't get that first damage. And I think a hundred for fifty, you take the hundred every time. Ooh, didn't need to do that. But oh well. We saw this setup before coming out for them with gods on the tracer. Not too bad. Overall, he's not that bad. I just think that he needs to be working on playing more as a main tank as opposed to playing as an off tank. And I guess I should elaborate that. You want to be creating space by knocking people around and pushing people back and body blocking and all that stuff. Peeling can help as well. Um, just that whole, don't look at chasing after people as much. Um, work on pushing people away and creating space for everyone else and making it safe for everyone else. Still here on the point. God's flanking around. It is all sorts of craziness. The fight taking place in multiple areas at once as Blase just moves in. Gonna go for the media strike. Drops off. Yeah, Energy's having a problem right now because they're running a solo support triple DPS. And the issue is, is it's so easy to kill that support. Because you have a tracer. <laughs> well, you have a tracer now. They did have a diva, I believe. But they have a tracer now. And the reason is, is she basically teases a mercy mercy runs away and they just obliterate her this time around and the legion in as they invest the transcendence here this should be overwhelming enough for nrg to get point a boys have to be careful does use that recall and now he's trying to take that tvt with the help of his diva there is a hex health pack for gods to be able to god's gonna keep it oh 
I didn't watch this one. No! Yeah, Destiny, I don't care. Not sponsored, not watching. Outsiders are forbidden. So they do keep it. Nice shot. Okay. That's... Nash is a whole contest there. <sighs> now let's look at see on the other side. Nice job, you're on the high ground. Congrats. Now let's see, does he grapple the bottom here? Or the top, or does he walk in a little further? No, they're just comp changing. Never mind. Yeah, he's doing the third person wall peek. Yeah, he did the lower one because he missed. So, fun fact. Uh, so, yep, you can see it. So, let's say if you have... It's kind of an interesting interaction that people just aren't used to. So, let's say there's a doorway. And here's the wall around it. If you want to grapple to go through this doorway and let's say to get on a high ground far behind, everyone just like out of, out of like knowledge about regular physics would grapple here and swing through and then try their best to disconnect and all that stuff. But in Overwatch, it's not like that. What you want to do is you want to grapple up here because your cable will phase through the wall. <laughs> you swing through the window and you now have this long cord that will allow you to go further. It's really stupid. Trust me. Pretty dumb. Let me see. Have to check. Okay. Had to check Discord. Had a message. Yeah. Too sad. Yeah, you can see as well as people aren't used to him. Because there is going to be a day, and it might be a year or two, where Hammond players aren't going to miss that. Nice, that's a perfect place to grapple. That's one of the good grapple spots on this map because you can get straight there. There's actually a way. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can get a good look. Okay. So, what he did was he grappled right here and he swung up and into there. That's great. Works great. What you can do on the other side of it is you can grapple right here. So on this wall right here, you grapple right there. You swing up. You land on this and you roll across and then you pile drive. Because what happens is you do delay your dive a little bit. They don't have line of sight to hack you because you're still on the rooftops. And the moment you land, you have about two seconds until your next grapple hook comes back up. Which is pretty nice. So they kill everyone, cap the point. Who knew? Oh! You got a double Hammond play going on here. That is perfect. Yeah. 
Gamut's pretty good at staggering on the point as well, um, stalling, um, because it's a lot safer for him, and he can sustain a lot more. So stalling is really good for him, especially since he's fast. Ugh, <laughs> uh, so much hacks. Okay, Blaze. Can we not, like, watch Blaze? Because his sensitivity is massive. That looks like a massive sensitivity. Because you can see he just kind of, like, jitters and freaks out. So, Swan's just not going to take high ground? I can do that, yeah. Good, good for him. Just trading dragon blades. Hold on. <laughs> oh. Okay. So fun fact is, if you're grappling ground stuff, um, that's just a little bulged up. It is difficult because sometimes it doesn't want to connect. Um. So like payloads, it's hard to connect. Like there, it's hard to connect. Not too bad. Swing around isn't that bad. It's it's good to use like sparingly. That was a good jump from the Hammond. Um, it's good to use um, the spinning around stuff sparingly. I like to use it until my pile drive comes back online and to knock people off if I can, um, as well as just stalling because it's better than just standing there. Um, but I tend to like to move around a lot more. I basically spin around until I see an opportunity, and then I just pounce. Route 66. Is he played? Actually, you know what? I think we're about done with Panker. Sorry, man. Hasta la bye-bye. XL2. Oh, I forgot how go pen was on. Then. Okay, anything entertaining? And that's a big no. Do we get a Hammond? Do we got a Hammond? We got a soldier. Wow. Someone can't play McCree. Sorry. That was mean. Shaxx can't play McCree. Is this going to be a non Hammond day? All right. There we go. We got two Hammonds. I, what one thing as well, I'm not sure if I'm see, if I can see it, is make sure that you don't reload before going into a ball form. So like because it doesn't help you out there's no animation cancel or anything like that because it just still takes like four seconds in the ball i believe it technically is a bit but overall it's not really that useful where's mousy guy he's just holding left click thank you mousy guy needed that left click Man, he's holding left click hard. He's flanking around right. Oh, ho. actually, he did do that like a main tank. Congratulations, nice job. Oh, nice job. That was a pretty good, 
pile drive. Granted, he didn't land on anyone directly, but it's not that bad. Yeah, that works. Nice job. Good for you, Tizzy. <laughs> the lion seems to have some problems getting up on the high ground. Or there, he just wants the swing. I don't think he wants the swing, though. Yeah, he was just having problems. Oh, no, he, he wants the swing. Don't get me wrong. He wants the swing. Oh, well, that's awkward. Hammond and Tizzy, Hammond and Ryan took each other out. Ah, great. Boo-hoo. I don't want that on stream. So I'm thinking these Hammond players are boring. Let me see. I'm looking a little bit more. Yeah, they're boring. They're missing everything. They're bad. Um, you know what? I'm just... I'm, I'm doing it. I'm jumping. We are going to Kong Your Panther versus Runaway. Last one. About an hour in, anyways. Let's see. Let's see how the Koreans play Hammond. They don't. Fun fact. <laughs> Who knew? No Hammond. A lot of goats. It's just like <laughs> Korean contenders are top tier. They are in an arena, all that stuff. You know, I don't know about you. I don't think they're going to be playing Hammond. Uh huh. Let's try one more. I'm gonna quick look. Okay, Korea's not playing him. <laughs> Let's watch. Let's watch Fusion University versus Envy. See if Fusion plays them again. And the answer is... No. Fun fact, Fusion University realized that their Hammond player needs more time. Is that literally it? Is it just like their Hammond player needs to play more? I will be. I, I'm going to just open it up for questions. See if I can find a Hammond clip. Another Hammond player. Before we close off. Yeah, we haven't got a Hammond player. But yeah, open up questions. We'll finish it off on this Hammond. Woo, y'all. I believe it's Korean, so... Hopefully we get Korean goodness. Nice job playing him as a main tank. Good boy. Granted, you already have a main tank, so... Woohoo. And you're not getting bubbled. Oh, bummer. Yeah, that's that's good sliding in. That's what you want to see when you you're on thirty health, boy. <laughs> Calm down. 
Can't burn the candle at both ends. Come on, knock him off. Ah. Take some shots into him as he's heading out the door. Epic hamster. Ah, da 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 da. Been live for an hour and 45 minutes. Been recording for an hour and 15. Fun fact. <laughs> Who y'all caught with his pants down? I hate it when that happens. A thing that you'll notice is ha the more people are comfortable with Hammond. Oh, and he goes off of Hammond. <sighs> the more you're comfortable with Hammond, the less time you actually spend on the on the ground. You'll spend a lot more time flying around. It's kind of weird. Seems like May is a must pick on this map. Yeah, okay, so they're not playing Hammond anymore on this one. I don't want to replay. I know Rascal's pretty good on May. He was one of the only guys that played him in Overwatch League. And we were playing in Orissa Defense without Hammond. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Personally, this style of defense, you see, like, look, look, he's, he's dead. He's dead. He's done. He's got put. Put put. Oh ho! It's a swan song. Where does he start playing it? Come on! Yep. There we go. NRG pulls him out. Oh my gosh. Solo contest. Ooh. No one to peel. Well, that was lucky. <laughs> Almost got hacked over the pit. That would have been bad. Play of the game. Hammond holding left click. Dealing a ton of damage. Because pros can aim. But they can't ball it like the rest. Ooh, nice. It's always satisfying to hit someone midair. I think Swan's not doing too bad. He's playing him a little bit more like a main tank. I kind of like the counter diving with Hammond a lot more. Ooh, that was a that was a flub. Flub a dub dub three men in a tub. Right. Hey, Swan's Swan's not doing bad. Not doing bad. So you like see the value you get? Like it looks the same overall. It's just Swan is landing on people, and it's and it's very good to land on people because it hurts 
a lot more. It's kind of weird of my biggest criticism for these contenders people are landing their hit, their pile drive. See, that just did a ton of damage. Got the beat drops of thing. People forgot that beat drop is a defensive ultimate. For some awful reason. And I think we're done here. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. Um, yeah, if any of you guys have any questions, um, go ahead and... Um, well, I'm not taking any more questions on Twitch, but I will on my YouTube channel. Um, YouTube channel is Dryden001. Twitch channel is Dryden001. Funny how that works. Twitter channel, hold on. Well, Twitter profile, whatever, is Dryden001. 001 but with a 3 instead of an E so D-R-Y-D-3-N-0-0-1 and then um, yeah so if you want updates um, I do do different stuff on live stream as opposed to everything else um, so it's kind of different in that aspect um, but yeah so I do different live streams I do different videos I am going to be posting um a, a few Minecraft videos pretty soon, um, which is going to be nice. Um, I've actually joined a server with people on it, and it's a whitelist community server, which means we shouldn't have people being mean. And I think I think we have a good amount of them that are going to be doing YouTube videos as well. Sadly enough, I'm the biggest person there, I believe, in subscriber-wise. Not 100% sure, but believe a lot of them are just starting out so um yeah so that's gonna be great um but yeah thanks for watching everyone um see ya bye